Guys, I can't believe it. That was my reaction when I saw how much it costs to keep Lee Chess running for absolutely free. And it's probably your reaction when you see this crappy wall behind me. That's a work in progress, so please ignore that one. For anyone that doesn't know, this is Lee Chess. Lee Chess is the second largest chess website in the world after chess.com and users play more than 5 million games every day for free. No ads, no paywalls, no investors demanding profits. Which begs the question, why do they keep it free and how do they continue to do so when the site is growing so fast? To answer the why, we need to talk about this man, Thibaut Duplessis. He started Lee Chess in 2010 as a hobby and he had a single unwavering vision to promote chess. The best way to do that... Okay, you get the idea. But how do they do it? In a nutshell... Hard work. Dedication. In case you didn't get that... Hard work. Dedication. Lots of volunteers, tens of thousands of hours and as the site has grown, thousands of patrons who support the site with donations. And as an aside, feel free to hit me up on Lee Chess. But now for the juicy bit. This is everything that Lee Chess has to pay for to keep us playing on the site we love. Now I've no clue what half this stuff is, from YOLO to fishnets to elastic search. Apparently it takes a lot of clever techie stuff but how much does all of this cost? Drum roll please. A shocking $406,109.54. I had no clue that a free chess site had operating costs running into the hundreds of thousands. The Lee Chess story is truly an inspirational one. So next time you're on the site, have a think about getting your wings to support this exceptional chess website. Thanks very much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, do give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to never miss a future one and if you're still curious to know exactly how someone could cheat over the board, then check out this video on screen which explains how.